Night Tube started in London in the summer of 2016 with two tube lines and by the end of the year was running on five lines. Now, a sixth service has been added to the night map as part of the London Overground is now also running throughout the night on Fridays and Saturdays. Night Overground has started on what many people still call the East London Line on the section between Dalston Junction and New Cross Gate. But why that section? Well, when we looked at the demand for nighttime services, we found that most people wanted to travel in central London. So there was quite a lot of demand, we thought, in the Hoxton, Haggerston, Shoreditch area. We thought too that there were people coming to and from jobs in Islington particularly, strong nighttime economy in Islington. So we thought that uh, this would be a good place to start. We'd like to at least consider if we could go further and lots of people have asked us why don't you go to Clapham Junction and so on. Uh, but at the moment we own and run this section, it's under our control and therefore we can run what we want basically up and down. So it's easier and it's where most people want to travel. And Amy LeMay, London's night czar, was there to announce the first southbound train departing from Dalston Junction. This is your night czar speaking and I'm very pleased to be here to launch the very first southbound night overground train. It's calling at Haggerston, Hoxton, Shoreditch High Street, Shadwell, Wapping, Brother Eyes, Canada Water, Surrey Keys and New Cross Gate. And on board, plenty of passengers. It's all got quite busy. <laughs> Again, I wasn't expecting it to be this busy, but already on the first night, it's like, there's a lot of people on board. This is going to be very popular. And the passengers are positive about it too. We went to a friend's surprise 30th birthday party tonight. I'm not usually in Dawson. I'm not used to planning my way home from there, so when I find out this is really pretty ideal, really. So you will use it more in the future? Yeah, absolutely. This has saved young Londoners money, as putting money back uh, to the people that deserve it most, you know. This is something in which it's adding real value to young people when what they're trying to do. I didn't even ask you to say that. Thank no, you so no, much. This is exactly <laughs> it. I, I, sorry, I, I, I like it there as well. Down the line to New Cross Gate, where the train enters out. I was intrigued to see which platform it came into at New Cross Gate. The answer is platform one, and it's just going to reverse back out. Where would all these people have been on what train or what bus or what taxi had they not got the night overground? We caught up with Amy to see what she thought. It was incredible, wasn't it? It was so amazing to see so many people really happy to be able to get home quickly or to carry the party on, uh, getting home from work. I mean, you know, just chatting to people was just incredible. I just spoke to some gals who um, usually get a taxi home or, you know, loads of buses home from work and they were able to get home really quickly this way. Other people have been at Christmas parties, others that have been out in Shoreditch and were carrying on the party <laughs> in New Cross Gate. So I think the, the positive aspects of this is just, you know, this is just scratching the surface. We're starting with Dawson Junction and we'll be moving around to Highbury through Canterbury in the new year. And the reason we didn't start with that is there are a lot of work going on over Christmas. We thought, should we start now? Well, we thought it'd be good to start before Christmas because people probably want to travel on the night overground before Christmas. Uh, so we could have started in the year, decided to start now, and in the year we'll go around to Highbury when both Crossrail works and also Highbury Corner works are finished. <laughs> oh, and that title, Night Cell, how'd you get it anyway? Well, I didn't choose the name. Uh, it's a name that the mayor chose uh, and you know, if Sadiq wants to call me the Night Czar, then he can call me the Night Czar. <laughs> I think they were going to call me a nightmare, at which point my partner said, finally, someone recognizes you for the nightmare you are. <laughs> so we've left Newcross Gate, heading back north, a little bit quieter in this direction, obviously more people going home in the southbound direction, but it is here, Night Overground is now running on a Friday and Saturday night, along with the five existing lines on the night tube.